Guanajuato would no longer be the same because Guanajuato belongs to El Mencho. Very strong words and very, can be very, very true. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federelli got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. To, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. Hey, what's up? My name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. Leave a comment, even if you give me a thumbs down, you know, it, it is what it is. Think, tell me what you think. If you are part of my Wrong Strong family, what's up, Rasa? How's it going? Subanse la suburban, let's gas it up. Let's put some classics on so we can cruise down Western or down Division Street in Chicago. You know what's up. Hey, guys, so what's up? You know, uh, I, uh, I have some, uh, you know, I, I guess you could say... The uh, news of uh, Guanajuato still how it's been going really bad and, and something really bad happened last week in Irapuato. Um, you know, a bunch of uh, gunmen went into a rehab uh, house and attacked and killed a bunch of uh, innocent men. You know, I, I looked at the pictures. They're probably, they're, they're really, really, really gruesome. So I couldn't even post them or show them. You know, they're, they're pretty bad. They put everybody face down shot everybody uh you know it, it was it was bad and um they, they looked between the ages of 16 to 20 what can i say they look they look really young and this is all part of you know what's was going down in, in guanajuato you know the big war that's happening with el marron and uh you know el mancho um it, it's crazy because um how many lives are being taken just in like minutes and seconds? You know, it's happening so fast. You know, and back in the day, Guanajuato was really not affected by cartel, you know, uh, organizations. Guanajuato was pretty much almost like I want to say like a neutral state where it wasn't really ran by, you know, I'm talking back in the day when uh, El Chapo and other other people were, were running through there, you know, it wasn't really... It was just like a bypass. It wasn't like where they wanted to set headquarters up. And this is what's happening right now is they're fighting for headquarters. They want to establish a, a landing zone, a, a home base. And this is what, uh, you know, organizations like that do because once they establish that, that landing strip, uh, it gives them, you know, uh, more power to um, come and go, you know, move, you know, move uh, product in and out money. It's closer to South America. It's, it's a key point. So, you know, that's what's happening. But the thing is, as uh, El Mencho's people are saying that it wasn't them who, uh, who committed this act. Uh, they would not harm innocent people. They actually said it like publicly in an announcement. They said, look it, we haven't even touched his, his mother and you know this is not how we do business pretty much that's i mean not in those words but that's that's what they're saying you know and they're calling el marron el, el, el a, a, a coward because they're saying that he actually did this seeking revenge from you know the government and uh trying to get get even because of everything that's happening to him how you know his family was picked up and and how they've been trying to dismantle him and so on um, 
Mencho's people are saying that they're they're there to end all the abuse, all the adjustment in Guanajuato. Guanajuato will never be the same. You know, those are really strong words. Never be the same. Yes, it will never be the same because there's never been so much bloodshed in Guanajuato since, you know, the war where, you know, Spain tried to conquer Mexico and, and all this, you know, there's a lot of history in Guanajuato. For those that don't, don't know, uh, there's a lot of history. That's why in Guanajuato is one of the biggest uh, states where a lot of people that were from Spain actually stayed there to live after the war. And that's why there's a lot of mixture of uh, mestizos in that area. This is why I get like my colored eyes. My sisters are, are really white complected with, you know, uh, my eyes are hazel. My sister eyes are yellow. My other sisters are green. And you'll see people, you know, blonde hair, tall, You'll see so many mestizos over there that that's one of the biggest, biggest reasons. But there's also a lot of money, a lot of land in Guanajuato. And this is why it's so important for these cartels to take over. And I said it before in my last video. You know, once, once one cartel wins, the bloodshed will stop until another one tries to come in and, and take over. Right now, it's looking like uh, El Mencho's people are, are pretty much, you know, taking care of business and pretty much moving in and, and taking over. You know, they're declaring in very strong words that Guanajuato belongs to El Mencho. And like I said it before in my last video, I, I wouldn't doubt it just because of the orga organization and the training and the manpower, the firepower, all that stuff. He was already very, very well put together before he even set foot in, you know, Guanajuato. He was having other fights in Guerrero and other places like that with other smaller groups. But, you know, right now, there's a lot of new cartels spurring up just because of, I've said it before, when every, when all the structure fell apart, everybody, Everybody wanted to be a leader. Everybody wanted to start their own cartel. It's just how it would happen in the gangs in Chicago. They locked up all the leaders and all the structure was left to fend for itself. All the kids started killing each other. Everybody started going to war with everybody. There was no more meetings. There were no more dues. There were no more real rules, regulations, nothing. The same thing is happening in Mexico. And the only thing that makes it more dangerous and more crazy is the amount of money that is coming in you have billions and billions of dollars coming into this industry this drug industry that it supplies companies it could be furniture jalapenos it could be it could be any sort of company they have the money to back it up to be able to fund it put their drugs in and move it into the United States, Europe, China. It goes everywhere. This is a worldwide problem. This is not just United States. This is not just Mexico. This is everywhere because of the amount of money that is tossed into this organization and how much money it makes. Now, will it get better? It will get better once one organization takes over Guanajuato and that's it. There's never been so much bloodshed, like I said, in Celaya. Celaya was really bad last month. Irapuato has been bad lately. Moroleon, that, you know, I was born and raised there. I had never seen so many pictures of so many people being shot, dismembered. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy the amount of violence. Once one cartel takes over this is when it all come to an end and there'll be little pieces flying here and there why did they go into that rehab center and and kill all these men and and kids and you know teenagers whatever you want to call it honestly i'm going to give you my two cents on it i think it was a move to make one or the other look really bad so the government could like say that's it we're done just like when they killed the uh the uh the agent and united states stepped in and they said that's it we're done when they killed kiki they said that's it we're done we're coming in and then they started dismantling everything it's like when they, they send the big dogs in that's it we're done 
Honestly, I, I think it was done to make one or the other look bad. You know, El Marro's people or El Mencho's people look bad. They win. Who knows who did it? What side did it? But that was the purpose of that incident. Why they did it? Why innocent people had to die for this? I, don't, I to this day, this is why I'm glad I got out of that life. I moved out of Mexico and I am done with easy money and that life. It just, it makes no sense to have hurt so many people and just, it, it, it's just, it's crazy, it's crazy. So, as you guys can see behind me, really soon, uh, the Wrong the Strong pa podcast show is gonna be starting. Uh, it gives me a wider, uh, how can I say it? I'll be able to talk more into detail about stuff. I'll be, at, I'll be able to have people that are still in the business, in the game, you know, and not show their faces and everything. Just have them on the radio, talk about podcasts, podcasts. I say radio because I'm old school. But podcasts and talk about, you know, what it is to work for a cartel now, what it was back then. I'll be able to have so many different, uh, you know, aspects of everything because I, as you guys know, Wrong to Strong is more than just prison stories, prison recipes, prison fitness, fitness outside, cartel. Uh, what else? What else? I don't know, but it's it's a lot of stuff. You know, wrong and strong stands for a lot of stuff. You know, what I mean, it's just not negative stuff. It's also positive. After being in and out of prison for 17 years, dealing with my depression, my uh, drug addiction, my abuse, and myself and others, uh, me changing and becoming a different person, and actually doing. The work that I need to do and, and most than anything being honest with myself that I needed to change in order for me to be happy and stop going in and out of prison and actually finding somebody that I would be happy with to spend the rest of my life with. You know, it, it took a lot of guts to be, you know, honest with myself and um, be on the lookout for that too. We're going to be starting our own uh, YouTube channel, uh, Married to a Savage, if you guys haven't uh, subscribe make sure you subscribe so that way you guys get the needy-greedy first videos when they come out there pretty much what that vi that channel is gonna be focused on is my relationship uh, you'll be able to see the crazy part of me um, insecurities all that stuff uh, pretty much what it is to be in a relationship uh, what it is to be married to a savage if you guys don't know my wife's name is actually her legal last name is savage this is why it's married to a savage. It's not because, I mean, I mean, I'm a savage. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking savage. But, you know, uh, it, there's a lot of good stuff coming up, man. And, and like I said, you know, I'll, I'll keep you guys. I'm going to still keep this channel. You know, Wrong and Strong is my, my baby, my, my everything. You know, I've grown it. And I'm pretty happy with how much it's grown and what we've done with it. And like I said, I have you guys to thank. You know, without you guys... <laughs> You know, I wouldn't have my, my Suburban with the gas and the classics and, and all that stuff. And, you know, we're, we're going to keep trucking and, and keep doing the work that we need to do and, and still keep bringing you this fly-ass, you know, videos and all this stuff. On the next videos, I'm actually going to do a movie review on a, a series called Zero, Zero, Zero. It is about the drug cartels, uh, a drug cartel bringing in... Uh, cocaine into Europe and I honestly believe after watching it and making notes and everything I honestly believe it's based on the setas but I'll give you my two cents on it on everything how real I think stuff is how fake I think other stuff is I keep it real and 100% raw you know me guys I don't mess around I give you how it is I give you what's happening with the whole world over there it is what it is my name's JC I am wrong the strong Remember, don't judge nobody, give somebody a hug, stay in your lane, live savage, and you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.